Prototypes are an incredibly important part of every aspect of the design process and in creating something new. So how do you create a prototype? Hi, this is Will. Welcome to the Innovout channel. I create videos that aim to educate and inspire people to get out there and invent, innovate and create your ideas into reality. When you're creating a prototype, you're not necessarily making a final model of something. You're not necessarily making the full design and function of an object. Your prototype should be there to test a question or test an aspect of your design. So if you break it down to form and function, you could test a prototype about the form of your design or just one of the functions or all of the functions minus the design itself. Your prototype doesn't even have to necessarily look or have the same function as your final design will be. For example, if you're going to test something which is going to fit inside your hand, you might want to test how does the general shape fit inside the hand? Is it comfortable? So you could create a cardboard cutout of just the shape of the object and test it in your hand, test it in other people's hands. It doesn't have to be something expensive and it doesn't have to be something that is final. This is a prototype, it's just the first version of and it's, it's there to test. So one great thing that you can do is to try and make your prototype cover a question that you want to have answered. Such as, does it fit in the hand? Is it comfortable? You can make your prototype so that it just focuses on those questions so that you can get a specific answer to those specific questions. Prototypes are there to shorten the design process and to answer a question. So you don't want to spend too much money on the prototypes. You, if you can, try and make it so that they are as cheap as possible while still answering your question in the way that you want it to be answered. To help achieve this, you can break up your prototype as well. You don't have to test everything in one single prototype. You can test individual little questions. Break your question up into more little questions, more and more questions. The smaller the question, the cheaper it will be and the easier it will be to test. So what materials can you make a prototype out of? Pretty much anything. Anything that you can get your hands on, you can make into a prototype. You can make it out of wood, paper. Those are some of the cheapest and most commonly used things to make prototypes out of. You can also make it out of wood or grass lying on the ground, a stick, anything you want. You can use clay if you want to mold it, that sort of thing. A prototype is a representation of your imagination. It's some way for you to quickly show what is in your mind and get it into reality. When you're creating something new, it's almost always a good idea to create a prototype. Create several prototypes, create as many as you can, answer all those unanswered questions and iron out all those kinks. And be imaginative with your prototypes, be creative. If you've got any thoughts or comments about prototyping or the creation of prototypes, leave a comment in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, it's been awesome talking with you. Hit that like button and if you'd like to see more videos that aim to educate and inspire people to get out there and invent, innovate and create ideas into reality, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks again for watching, I hope you have an awesome day or night or whatever time it is where you are and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio!